So of course, I'm pretty sure that we all heard this story, the story of Atlas before being tasked with carrying the weight of the world on his back and shoulders. And I'm saying this here, I'm reading the story here, not just to read it, but because mythological stories have a point, they exist for a reason. And this story, the story of Atlas, in my opinion, at least from my point of view, exists in a way to showcase the importance of not only having a strong character, being a strong person, having a strong a strong base to you as a being and that all comes back that all comes down to having a strong back because atlas was carrying the weight of the world on his back that isn't that much different from many people nowadays having to carry the weight of their own lives on their back and shoulders and so going from that base of understanding and going to how having a strong back relates in the body game what role your back plays in the body game and how it effectively helps your life overall the back effectively supports strength it supports weight it supports the weight that you're going to carry so having a back that is larger than average it literally symbolizes resilience and strength having a wide back the wide back literally symbolizes resilience and strength in your character because every single part of your body represents a different aspect of your character the last video i recorded was about the chest representing confidence and the next one might be about the legs representing power but for now and actually you can even see that in the way that we're speaking in the way that we use our words every day that we already put that kind of importance everyone that you meet already puts that kind of importance on the back we say oh you're carrying the weight of the world on your back and shoulders oh i'm having that person's back those are all expressions that put that meaning that put that importance that puts it that effectively equal out strength and a big strong back together and then of course along the same lines of physical aspects going a layer deeper into that you can also learn and effectively you see that the spine which runs along your back is the highway the highway of your life energy all of your life energy is going to pass through your spine and effectively going to <clears throat> going to uh, going to all the other areas of your body and so having a spine that is well protected is something that really is going to communicate that you're someone that is going to be capable so we know that the spine is the pathway of your life energy and having a more robust a more solid pathway is going to ensure that that energy that life energy that you produce gets to every single part of your body that needs it and that's actually something that a lot of religious systems and beliefs around the world put a lot of a lot of importance on you can do the research and find out what different people different cultures think about the spines what goes on with your spine why your spine is so important why you need to stretch it why you need to make sure to protect it and all the things that come along with why the back supports and represents strength in a person so now about some of the body languages benefits of course because having a strong back okay you look big you look all that you're you're projecting a certain way of being that you might be but what about the practical ways what about how it actually applies to your body language and how you actually move in the world just off of the fact that you've built your back up into a level that it wasn't at before so the first point i have here, here of course is that throughout history Throughout history, your back represented your strength, your back represented what you were capable of, and it was effectively necessary for the vast majority of occupations. You were a farmer, you, need, you needed to have a strong back to work all day. You were, you were a soldier, you needed to have a strong back to train and then to fight in the war whenever that comes up. And those are just different roles, different roles that males have taken throughout human societies that have required us to develop the ability to recognize what a strong back represents because you're in you're you're at war and your commander looks like a weakling you're going you're going to you're going to think that you're going to die you're going to think that you're heading to your death right now and so there are just all things that as time passed throughout hundreds and thousands of years human societies and human eyes have learned to recognize that okay that build that physical build is going to is going to be what is going to maximize my chances of survival the most and even though we moved into different into a different era we live in different societies we live in big cities we live in places where we don't have to hunt our own food even though we don't even though we don't live in the primal places where those things were the most important we still are human we still have the same habits we still have the same kind of blood memories to a degree and still in a way look out for the same things that our ancestors did 
and so i'm not going to explain extensively every single benefit of building a strong back you can do that own research as well but some things that are going to work into why having a strong back is going to improve your life overall boost your confidence and all the things that are associated with having a higher body language that attracts people to you and make people have a better outlook of you of course what you do with that better outlook is up to you but some of the things that having a strong back is going to do of course just by the fact that you have it it's that it's going to garner more respect because you've sh you're showing that you have some kind of discipline in your life you're showing that you have some kind of drive to do something in your life and that is that is shown through your body that is shown through your muscles the way that your muscles are built and your back especially because it represents the strength of your mind the strength of your mind to push yourself to build a back like that and then going on of course there's leadership having a stronger wider back is going to make you look like a better leader it's just going to do that because people look up to things that they don't have and that they might want to have and so you can go into any room any room filled up with men and you'll see that okay the man who's the most fit the most fit the in the best health the most uh, with the most muscle maybe not the most muscle but who looks like the most trouble who looks like the most the most physically capable that guy is going to be the closest one to being the leader in that room and that is going to be true in every single room that you that you walk into as a man especially and lastly before i end this video probably one of the main benefits that most men look for especially when we get into body game and if you want to improve your back as well it's going to make you a lot more attractive just having that v taper that special v taper in your body is going to it's just going to make you look more attractive because it's effectively the equivalent it's effectively the equivalent of a woman with an h shape with an h shape with like you know you know what i'm talking about it's effectively the equivalent in a man and this is something that hits them on a primal level that hits people that you see on a primal level especially like you can walk into any room and if you have some kind of v taper if your body is shaped in some kind of a v taper it doesn't even have to be like oh like a bodybuilder or like something like like looking like you've been lifted for 10 years it doesn't it doesn't even have to look like that it just needs to look like you go into you go to the gym like a couple times a week literally if you have some kind of a v taper some kind of a frame that shows that okay the top of your body is wider than your waist and your stomach if you have that ratio going on for you working for you already you're already going to garner more attention than the vast majority of guys who legitimately look like the leather eye who legitimately look like the leather eye i'm not even kidding it's the vast majority of people nowadays that are going to look scrawny and so that actually puts the bar a lot lower for what is considered to be to a degree exceptional because so many people look the same and are not doing anything with their life never working out never trying to improve themselves never even carrying themselves some kind of confidence and those are all things that are going to come to you when you work on improving your body when you work on the body game when you work on improving your back on improving all these different aspects of your body that communicates to the people who see you even literally from a mile away it communicates to those people what they can expect of you what kind of person that you might be and of course when you speak it's going to be up to you to confirm those assumptions or effectively make them look like oh they were wrong they just had you figured out all wrong in the first place so yeah that's the video right now so if you got any value from this you can check out some of the videos on here or drop a like or check out the links in the bio anything can help the channel really and it's all appreciated but i'll see you in the next one